In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Distant Coder is one of the most well-known Yu-Gi-Oh streamers on Twitch. He is known for his extensive knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay and card rulings. He is a dueling book Yu-Gi-Oh judge and his ruling quiz and deal or no deal series. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. What's up guys? We're back with another episode of Guess That Price. This is episode 10 with Distant Coder. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good, bro. How are you? I'm doing great. I have got this list barely in time. I mean, we're like, what, 26 minutes late to when we we're supposed to start recording, but it's going to be awesome because what? Are you going to beat Gage? Let me know. Are you going to do it? Uh, it's time to cook, bro. I believe in it. I believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's hope you can do it. He is by far the number one right now. And then we got to talk about the other in Farfa. He is by far the worst. So will you be Farfa or will you be Gage in a good or bad way? We're about to find out. I'm aiming for something right, right smack dab in the middle, bro. That's where I'm aiming for. <laughs> okay, super average. That's what we're looking for. Yes, All right, sir. question number one. I've already talked to you about the rules. You pretty much know how they work. Reinforcement of the Army, Secret Rare First Edition from Magnificent Mavis. This is a pretty new card. Do you know the price? Okay, so I know that some of the Pharaoh's rares from Magnificent Mavens are money. I know the Crystal Bonds. I actually know the Crystal Bonds from that set because I actually have one. And from memory, it was like 90 bucks. Now keep in mind, this is mm -hmm. gonna be rough for me because I'm Canadian dollars, US dollars. Yeah, you might wanna get out there, <laughs> translate it over, type in 90 Canadian, see what that is, USD. No, no, it's fine. Sam no, no, had no, a it, problem with that too. Oh yeah, there's no problem. I, I, cause Typically when I deal with cards, I deal with it in USD, even though I'm yeah. in Canada. So I know right. Crystal Bonds from memory is something along the lines of 90 USD. And I feel like Rhoda is probably more than that. The way I'm thinking here, I'm thinking Rhoda's probably gonna be along the lines of like 120 to 150. That's where like my ballpark is at. I, I feel, I feel fairly confident with this one. I'm gonna drop it at a solid $120 and I'm locking it. $120, you're already pretty confident on this one. You at least have looked at some Pharaoh rare prices. So you have an idea of where these might be. Coder, this card is 120. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> I'm reading your answer. Wait, that's not right. I now. thought it was insane. I was like, I'm crazy. <laughs> Coder, it is not $120. Oh, damn. You're not doing too bad, though. It's $84. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that these, when I looked at the little chart on TCG Player, this thing has like tanked. So oh, okay. it probably was at one point around that. But it seems like, I don't know when you check the Crystal Bond price or the Crystal Beast or whatever, but I feel like these have come down quite a bit since it's a pretty new set. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, you're really not that far off. You're only about $36 off. So not a bad start. I've seen a lot worse. Okay. No, I checked the Crystal Bonds. I think it must have been like like a week or two after the release of the set. Yeah, that and, that, that yeah. probably came down. That's probably <laughs> I, why. I don't, I, don't, I don't keep up with prices. I check them one time and then they just stick. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, but I, I bet the uh, the other one's down too then because there's no way Rhoda is, le or is less than that card probably, yeah, right? Because be it's so surprising. generic and stuff. But okay, let's go to question two. You're doing fine. Not great, not terrible. That's where I, where you want to be, That's right? That's where I want to be. I'm going to smack <laughs> dab in the middle. We're chilling. <laughs> All right, number two. Here we go. We have Chaos Space Collector Rare First Edition from Toon Chaos. Bro, this is hard because the only collectors are from Toon's Chaos that I actually know the price of is like Gamma. And Gamma mm -hmm. is like... $400 or something like that. Gamma is very expensive. Yeah, but Gamma, Gamma, I feel like is like an outlier. Like what else, what other collector's rares are there? There's like the Toon cards, right? So you got like the 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 bookmark or whatever in collector's rare. But those yeah. are, again, those are Toon cards. Those are like always expensive because of anime, woohoo. Yeah, there's like, there's like the Chaos monsters like Chaos Ember Dragon, Blackluster Soldier, Toon Blackluster Soldier, Stardust is in there. There's a bunch of stuff like that. But like Chaos Space is like an extremely playable card. Right. is the thing um yeah one of the few out of that set it sucks is the only one that i actually know the price of is this gamma and it's 
so expensive, but I'm like, there's no way Chaos Space is like 250, 300, but there's no way. There is just no way. I think the Gamma is like 500 or something insane. It, like, it's something it's like, like absurd. Like It's 400 plus easy. And I, yeah. I, I can't imagine there's another card in that set that, it, that even comes close to that. I feel like Chaos Space could definitely be like $200 collector's rare. That could be a thing. 150 would also be realistic. I feel like below 150 for a Toon Chaos collector's rare doesn't make a lot of sense. That wasn't yeah. the set with the Nightmares, right? The Nightmares were in the same set as the Drytrons? Yeah, it wasn't. There was no Nightmares in this set, okay. uh, from what I know. I think that was Gemini Impact or Genesis Impact, whatever yeah, it's Genesis called. Genesis Impact, yeah. Yeah, I'm I think sure that was it. Because I know that the Nightmares are, like, fairly cheap, if I remember right. I feel like Chaos Space is going to be somewhere middle of the pack here. So you're thinking a Tier 2 is what you're saying? I'm I'm getting a $200 vibe from this one, I'm not going to lie. I am I am feeling Tier 2. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Tier 2. Okay. I am going to be slapping Chaos Space right at the $200 mark. Lock that sucker in, and I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. All right, we'll lock it in at $200. So far, pretty confident guesses on both of them. Let's see how it fares for you this time. Last time, not too bad. Question number two. You're thinking tier two, Chaos Space Collector Rare First Edition from Toon Chaos. You guessed 200. It is $192. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm crazy! Okay. You nailed nice. it. So with your bonus, because you know you get the bonus for being in the right tier, yes, you have sir. now added back two dollars. So you're doing great. We're chilling. Okay, awesome. I'm yeah, when it. you said two hundred, I was like, oh my gosh, he's right on it. And then I, you said one fifty. I was like, ah, don't go that way. And then you came <laughs> back. I was like, all right, nice. I mean, yeah, because Toon Chaos is just one of those things. Like, it's a set that not a lot of people really liked, but some of the cards in there are like super chased after stuff like Gamma, stuff like Chaos Space. So I can imagine that the cards in this set there's none of them that are like middle of the pack they're either 150 plus or they're like pennies yeah this uh this set was was interesting because it was like kind of short printed because like covid yeah. and then everyone was hyped up about it so a lot of people pre-ordered it and then it turned out to be kind of a dud on a lot of fronts yeah so yeah, it, yeah. yeah they're expensive boxes but not too many cards that actually make your money back but this is one of the big ones so that was a good guess we're going on to question three you're kind of doing well uh, i thought you were supposed to be in the middle of the pack here okay you might have slowed down there buddy we're there we're chilling we are okay we have our All cushion right. of protection <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number three. Coder, Royal Decree, super rare from Tournament Pack 6. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god. Okay, so I have not dabbled in GOAT format very much. Okay. But uh -huh. the little that I dabbled in GOAT format, I played a Horus the Black Flame Dragon deck that also okay. played Royal Decree. And when I Just so you can it, use nothing. You can't use spells. You can't use traps. It's exactly. just awful. Yeah. And <laughs> when I built it, friends of mine who dabbled a bit more in GOAT told me Royal Decree at the time was like super freaking expensive and no one ever had three. Because I think it only came in the tournament pack initially. Or was it that was that another set? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Right okay. Now. Let me get give you a little background here yeah yeah give me the backstory to this one yeah so royal decree originally was a tournament pack for ultra rare oh. they reprinted it later in tournament pack six which is what i'm asking you as a super rare oh. so the the one they were talking about was the tournament pack four and you could only get it as an ultra rare this one was the next print the super rare okay okay tournament pack super rare royal decree TP6. It won't be as much. I feel like it. I, so it's not. Ma it's not the max rarity royal decree. So it probably won't be like mad stonks. Okay, Ruxin, I'm gonna. I'm going to ask you something. You tell me if you can answer it. Can you tell me what like the the ultra rares or whatever were in tournament pack six? Yeah. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay. So tournament pack six in tournament pack one through eight, they only had one ultra per set. Yeah. So in tournament pack four, it was the royal decree. Tournament pack six was, I believe, the tune cannon soldier oh and then there was four there's four supers so there's like a usually 20 packs per box there's one total ultra but it's one in 108 packs for that and then it's one in 18 for a super rare and there's four different supers so i think that will make this royal decree not that expensive i'm definitely thinking tier one and i'm definitely thinking it's something like it's probably like 60 or under i feel like it won't be above like the 60 dollar mark Unless there's like some additional backstory of like this specific tournament pack six was impossible <laughs> to find. 
this specific set was only only sent to Brazil or something like that. You know, <laughs> okay, know. that's there's none of that, but it is the sixth tournament pack set. So I will tell you that they started with this is just regular tournament pack, mm -hmm. and then they became uh, champion pack, astro pack, or turbo pack, astro pack, then OTS. So this is the first set of those. So it's the sixth tournament pack ever made. But there's no weird like Brazil thing on there or whatever. Okay, good to know. Damn, I don't know. I'm I'm I am. I am struggling with this one. Hey, you have lifelines. You can yeah, use them. Yeah, I'm considering using a lifeline. Because I'm going to be honest, I feel like this is definitely one of those things that can either be like dummy cheap because it's not max rarity, or it could be dummy expensive anyway, because you definitely have like some of these older cards that will have a print that's like, you know, a million dollars. And there's other ones like, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah. if you don't have a million dollars, you can spend 200K on it instead, you know? And something like that. <laughs> I am going to ask for the tier on this one please all right okay first lifeline is being used the first lifeline asking for the tier royal decree super rare from tournament pack six is from tier one ah, i figured i figured i figured so you're on the right track i think i'm gonna drop it right at 40 i think 40 is a a safe bet I'm gonna drop it right at 40 lock that sucker in okay all right 40 dollars on the royal decree coder this card is $93. Okay, okay. So it's okay. top end, but it's still tier one. So you, you okay. get the tier bonus. So there's that. Yeah, it is 93 because all these tournament pack hollows, basically, especially if they're like remotely playable, like Royal Decree and Go mm -hmm. Format and yeah. stuff, uh, they, they're usually not going to be that cheap, but they are still, you know, not that expensive. Like, as you said, I think the other Royal Decrees around like 500 or something, something yeah. like that, maybe 600. Yeah, so yeah. that you were thinking like that. And then mm -hmm. once you realized it wasn't well, that, yeah, yeah, like yeah, if, if you had told me like, yeah, this was that one, like that first printing whatever i would have said yeah. I, would, I would have probably immediately jumped to 500 bucks straight yeah because it was very expensive okay <laughs> but not too bad you're fine okay. nothing to worry about you still got two lifelines left your worst one so far i guess is was it the royal decree i guess that's still dropped right now so yeah. as of right now that one doesn't count but if you do have a worse one later we will then replace that one fair enough fair enough okay and this was this wasn't even that bad i was like 50 bucks off that is not bad yeah yeah this is if this is your worst one you're gonna be doing really good so let's go to question four summon skull ultra rare first edition from metal raiders uh, what? <laughs> MRD first. MRD first. What the fuck do I know about prices of MRD? Man, you're you're pulling out the old cards. I started playing in 2016, Rex. So what are you doing to me? <laughs> hey, to be fair, I gave you like the most new cards. I'm just gonna let you know. Oh, I gave let's you a go. bunch of new cards. Okay, okay, okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. MRD first edition, ultra rare, summoned skull. I mean, this is probably money. I can't imagine it's not money. MRD first is like always expensive, is it? I think. That what do you know about MRD? I know it's called Metal Raiders, bro. That's about it. Okay, <laughs> okay well, so, I'll give you a little bit. It no, is the no, second these, set ever yeah, printed. Yeah, so like these sets only have, it only has like one secret rare, right? Two secret rares, Thousand Dragon, Gate Guardian, but it depends on which box you get. It has a retail or hobby box. Right, right. So right. it's basically one. Or yeah. like whatever you would get. I mean, I feel like an MRD first and like we're going near mint for all of this, right? So this is all near mint. Yeah, if I don't specify, which I usually I've always done near mint because it just gets dicey when you say like mod play or something like that. OK, so summon skull, it's going to be up there. It has to be up there. Like, I feel like this thing graded. If someone told me it was five hundred dollars, I wouldn't be surprised. But I feel like not graded. I feel like if it's just like a raw near mint copy, I feel like it's definitely going to be up there and it's going to be a tier three most likely because i feel like anything mrd first foil especially for an ultra because there weren't that many ultras in these sets right because this was back there, when there was 10 it was 10 but there's 10 this, supers like, 10 ultras this was before like you had like guaranteed ultras and stuff right I, i'm pretty sure that well you would, okay so here's the the layout of a box for an old school box was you would pull four supers this is usually like on average yeah. four supers two ultras and zero to one secret. If you get a secret, sometimes that would replace an ultra, sometimes it wouldn't. So sometimes you get two. Sometimes you could get three ultras, but pretty unlikely. Usually it's two. You said tier two ends at 250, right? 250, yeah. So 251 plus is tier three. So I'm going to hazard a guess here that this is definitely a tier three card, but I'm hazarding that it's on the lower end of tier three. So I think I'm gonna drop it at 255 just to be in that tier three just to be chilling i wouldn't be surprised if this was like 300 but i'm gonna put it at 255 who the hell would spend this much money on a card i don't know but 255 so, run it <laughs> why, why do you want it to be just inside tier three you just you're just sure it's a tier three so you just I'm wanted to be sure right on that it's a tier three i am pretty okay. certain it's going to be a tier three i i I got a vibe. I got a vibe. Okay. All right. $255. You've locked it in for the Summon Skull Metal Raiders first edition. Mm -hmm. 
Coder, this card is worth $399. Okay, I knew it was tier three. Hey, you got the tier three right. You didn't know for sure that was it. And you, when you said, uh, um, if, if you told me this card would grade it was 500, I was dying because this card used to be 5,000 graded. That's no a tip. Shot. Yeah. Okay, dude. When it this, was, uh, dude. like during the hype, it was 5,000 for a 10. Now it's down to like 2,000, I Bro, think. Old cards, old cards are so crazy crazy because you'll find like what was that one card there's like an equip spell from like lob or something it's a common that's like short print it's the the, the silver bow and arrow or something oh yeah yeah like, it's like 300 that, or something that card is like 300 dollars as a, a yeah. fucking common because it was short printed in lob and it's like bro yeah. why why do old yeah all do the lob commons are insane money metal raiders is getting there too because they actually have a lot of anime stuff and <sighs> summon skull just like the anime printing which funnily enough this isn't the first printing of summon skull it's the one out of the starter deck so True. it's like a common so uh, th then you get this because it's the hollow version it's the one everybody wants but you're not bad i mean this is your dropped one now so yeah, yeah, yeah. we are now oh, replacing yeah. the 50 but <laughs> that's okay that wasn't too bad you still got two lifelines left six questions yeah we're doing how good. you feeling right now how you feeling uh, I'm i think i'm doing fine i think i'm doing okay I, I knew this card was gonna be like either mad stonks or just okay yeah. stonks turns out it was mad stonks what can i do yeah <laughs> an anime level that's yeah anytime you see anime you gotta think stonks oh, yeah. sometimes sometimes the anime just just be crazy you know, but there's some anime cards that just aren't that money. It's crazy. It's insane. That's true, but there's good news. The next question is good news. Okay. All right. Question number five. We have Unchained Twins Aruha Starlight Rare First Edition from Chaos Impact. Roxanne, I know the price of this card. That I told you was good news. Not I figured you I know, might know I, this one. I know the price of this card because I check it periodically. This is the card okay. whose value I check about once a month. Just because I own three of this thing. I wonder how much it's changed since you checked it. Starlight Aruha is $170. Lock it in, give or take. It's just maybe, maybe it's a bit more. It's a bit like last time I checked, it was $170. Smack dab on the nose. Run it. Okay. All right. You're locking it in. You're sure. I figured this would be one that you've probably checked at some point. I didn't oh, yeah. know you checked it that much. So it's good for you that you did that. Question five. Saying this is the second tier two. Unchained Twins Aruha Starlight Rare First Edition Chaos Impact. Yes, sir. Coder, what if I told you it was like 300? What would you do? I would tell you you're lying. <laughs> uh, yep, I wouldn't be lying. It's $171. Let's go! <laughs> so you are one Stonks. away. You almost got that crazy <laughs> bonus of 25 and you get it right on. But hey, that's one off. You're, you get the $10. <laughs> You're adding back nine bucks. That's a great midway point right now. You're Let's looking go. good. Let's go. We take those. We take those. Yeah, dude. I knew my boy Aruha was 170, bro. I knew it. I already knew it. <laughs> Question six. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Secret Rare First Edition from Strike of Neos. Oh, my God. This is question number six. Yep. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Secret Rare. You got any idea on this one? <sighs> no. What's Strike of Neos? Is that S-T-O-N? Yeah, S-T-O-N. Came out in 2007. Dude, if I get this wrong, John is going to kill me, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you can always replace it and get another one so you don't have to answer to him. Yeah, I can't imagine Grandmaster of the Six Samurai is that much. <sighs> but it could be, like, just, just crazy, you know? Who knows? Okay, please clarify something for me because I am not in the know. Is Six Samurai okay. a deck that is typically played in Edison format? Okay, I answered this last time for Farfa and they asked about Test Tiger and I said, no, it's not in my deck. And then apparently some of them run it. But okay. so mine doesn't, didn't run it, but I do not know of a Six Samurai deck. When I when I do Edison, I look at the Edison.com and look at the top yeah. lists. They don't have Six it's Samurai not in there. Top list. So okay. I can tell you that. I don't know for sure if anybody runs it or not, but I, mean, I don't think it's in Edison. Yeah, so what you're telling me is it could be playable, but it is also not one of the top. Teams. Yeah, it, it could be playable. I'm not sure about that, but it is not like the top eight of the of the tournaments good to know so this is not going to be spiking as hard as like black wing cards because of yeah like vayu or yeah, something yeah, with the yeah. ulti okay 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 i'm i'm not gonna use a lifeline for this one i am going to go with what my gut is telling me my gut is telling me that this is probably a tier two card. I know Grandmaster was like crazy because at the time you could play like oppression with six Sams or something like that. And like if you oppression negated the Grandmaster summon or whatever, it would just like add itself back or something. Is that what it does? It's something crazy. Yeah, I, I know. I know in the current six Sam decks, people still use this card because it's like nuts. Okay, Ruxin, Ruxin, Grandmaster of the six Samurai is... Two hundred and seventy-five dollars. 
tier three, you evened it out because I'm being an exam Andy. Run it, 275, I believe. All right, exam Andy. Did it pay off, Coder? You always say don't be an exam Andy. Oh, We're gonna have to find out if it worked out. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, secret rare, first edition, Strike of Neos. This is actually a funny one because you have guessed this number already in the quiz. Oh, it was 255. $255, but still, you're really close. I mean, 20 minus 10, you're only $10 off. So that turned out to be pretty good, but I was say earlier, you get the Summon Skull 2, it's five, and I was like, man, he should have saved that for the, save, for the Grandmaster, that would have been sweet. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, 20 bucks off. I no, am that's not really good on the tier threes. I am not upset about that at all. All right, exam Andy, question number seven. <laughs> you now have two of each, so keep that in mind. You know, you know, two of each. I, you don't know now, because I even if I exam Andy, you don't know what's coming yeah, next. No, I, I can't exam Andy anymore. I got I got one freebie right there, and then it, it was yeah. over. <laughs> I, I never know how to say this card, so I'm just going to say it like I think you say it. Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Ultra du Dual Terminal Rare, <gasps> Dual Terminal 1. Oh, my God. Brio, 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 Brio. This is what... Okay, so remind me. Brio came like secret, then this, right? I think it was a secret and hidden arsenal, and then they upgraded it like in rare. I think this is technically a higher rarity. Yeah. Uh, then they also... Like, did they? I don't remember if this was in the new dual terminal, not dual terminal, but dual oh, the, hidden the arsenal, arsenal dual thing remake. or whatever. I mean, even if it is, that probably wouldn't do anything. No one liked that set. Yeah, <laughs> that set was horrible. <laughs> so I know DT Trish is like massive money. Was DT Trish also dual terminal one? I think DT Trish might have been a different one. I think that there was I think there was only one of ultra per set. So like when you'd get it out of the machine or whatever, I think you only got one ultra. So it must've been a different set for Trish. Okay, I think Brio might've been in the same set that also had Gen X Undine. And if it is, mm. that means this is money. Cause I know the Undine is like not crazy money, but it's like people really, really like, people really like Undine from Dual Terminal. It's like people's favorite Undine, especially when they play 2014 yeah. format and whatever, and they get to play like Mermail and stuff. You play Undine and that's really good. Yeah. I am definitely using a lifeline on this one. And I think I'm going to be using the higher or lower to okay. ask you if Brio is above or below $230. All right. Second lifeline being used on the Brio. This thing is less than $230. I definitely think this is still a tier two. I don't think this is going to be a tier one card. This is still going to, this is definitely going to be above. 150 bucks. Uh, wait, tier one is only up to 100, right? 100, yeah. 101 to 250 for the uh, tier two. I'm going to say Brio is like at a smack dab, like solid 150, and we're going to put it right there. I think it's a safe bet. We're going to put it at 150. All right, Brio. We're just going to call it Brio because I can't say this. Brio, Dragon of the Ice Bear, Ultra Dual Terminal Rare from Dual Terminal 1. You said 150. Yeah. This is actually an $88 card. Oh. How the mighty have fallen. I, these have gone down a lot. I actually think that that new set might have hurt these cards somehow. Really? I could have sworn this was like 200, like uh, recently, and it's $88 now. So this thing has gone down quite a bit, which is surprising, but you're still not that far off. Okay, okay. We, we take those. I think that's my furthest one now. But no, the Summon Skull is oh, your the furthest. Summon Skull is still way further. Yeah, the yeah, Summon yeah, Skull yeah. is your furthest. Still 62, really not that bad though. You still have one lifeline. You've got three questions left. Are you ready? for question number eight yeah yeah dude imagine using a lifeline and kick it up holy <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst feeling it's the yeah. worst feeling all right three more to go we got this all right question number eight we have effect veiler ultimate rare first edition <laughs> from duelist revolution damn ruxin i wonder how much this is dude i wonder I don't know. how much this is i i recall hmm, i think i remember if i remember correctly i had a buddy of mine uh his name was uh, ruxin actually it was weird um, who had a playset of these in French that I wanted and didn't in end French, up picking yeah. up off him. And if I remember right, uh, these were right around the $400 mark, if I remember correctly. That is, that is hey, Keep in mind, mind, these are English instead of French, so. Yeah, so if I remember right, if I remember right, you had priced these for a French copy at 
$400. If, if I remember this correctly. Yeah, this was, this was when again? This was YCS Hartford? I think it was Hartford. Might've been Charlotte. I can't remember. It might've been Charlotte. It was like- No, it was, it was like, Hartford, I think, yeah. I definitely think it was Hartford. I remember we were at a bar, we were having some drinks. And I was like, yo, I want French Veilers. They were like, bro, I have. <laughs> I was like, buy them, and you didn't, so. Uh, and I didn't. I didn't end up buying them. But yeah, it's 400. I feel like this is just the kind of card that just never goes down. And the thing is, I also remember a more recent experience than that. I remember checking the price of Ulti Valor and Starlight DD Crow and remembering like, and, and, and feeling like, oh, these are so close to each other. I didn't think DD Crow was as much as a, a, an Ulti Valor or something along those lines. Uh -huh. I believe Starlight Crow is sitting around 450. So I think I'm going to slap the Valor right around the 450 mark as well. I think that is a very, very safe bet. I feel like it's probably somewhere between 450 and Five. Maybe I should be safe and drop it at 475. Put it right in the middle of where I'm, I'm thinking. I think I might do that. I'm going to put it okay. right at for near near mint. Bro. <sighs> near mint. Near mint. Okay. Near mint ulti veiler. First edition. 500 bucks. Just 500. 500. 500. All right. Okay. We're locking it in. Is that is that it? 500? Oh, oh yeah. 500. I'm going all in. Okay, Coder. That was some interesting talk. Yeah, there. You had 400. You bumped up to five, 450. You did 475. Now 500. Let's see if you went the right direction. Okay. I, I definitely uh, did. I know I did. There's no way I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Effect Valor. He's confident. Ultimate Rare First Edition Duelist Revolution. I did want you to buy some of these from me. You didn't do it. You were too busy, you know buying other stuff for some reason i don't know why yeah and i'm weird but like that <laughs> this thing is worth 521 dollars holy you walked it all the way up to being with 21 away that was clutch that was super uh, clutch. absolutely insane holy being within 21 on a 500 dollars tier three that is really good. That's super strong. Let's go. Let's go. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. That works. All right. We are. We have two more questions. And as you know, if you've watched the show, we ask them both at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to ask both questions. Then you can deliberate. You do have one lifeline. If one of these sucks and you don't like it, you can swap it out. Fair enough. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Nine and ten. We got this. We close it out. We clutch it. Question nine. We have Forbidden Chalice Ultimate Rare First Edition from Raging Battle. And then our last question, question number 10 is light and darkness dragon secret rare from retro pack 2 oh my god oh my god oh my god okay is there anything you're feeling like you want to swap right off the bat or what immediately off the bat i'm telling myself i want to swap this light and darkness dragon probably because the thing with chalice is i've known the price of chalice on multiple occasions i had a buddy of mine yeah. who owned a place out of this ulti first and his binder forever and i remember consistently asking him like yo you want to trade it you want to trade it how much and whatever the light and darkness dragon i do not even have any idea where to begin the veiler was a tier three the brio was a tier one therefore one of these two is going to be a tier two and i'm fairly certain that the forbidden chalice is the tier two because from memory chalice is sitting somewhere between two and 250 the light and darkness dragon i have no idea so i'm going to swap out the light and darkness dragon okay if you were gonna guess give us your guess of what the light and dark darkness dragon would be for lad i don't i don't know anything about retro pack 2 i'd probably say it's like 300 bucks i don't know i have no idea all right i'll let you i'll let you know if you're right or wrong when we get back to it Fair okay enough. your replacement question this is your last lifeline let's see if it comes in clutch i don't know if you know about this card or not we're gonna have to find out oh, no. <laughs> Number 39 Utopia oh, okay. Astral Rarity from Battles of Legend Armageddon. This one's either a lot of money or not a lot of money. I feel as though it was a lot of money on release and then kind of fell off. Because I think the Astral Rare Leviathan Dragon fell off plus ratio as well. I think I'm going to lock in the Chalice. I'm going to lock in the Chalice at 240. Because I feel like it's on the upper end of tier two. I think this is a okay. tier two card. I'm going to lock okay. the chalice in at 240. I feel very confident with that one. It's either, right. it's somewhere between 225 and 250, most likely. So 240 is a safe bet for that. The Astral Utopia is either mad stonks or 
It's kind of mid. I mean, that could be anything. Yeah. Oh my god. This is Your so only clue, like, it's. Do you think the the lad? Like, what do you think about the lad? Do you think it could be really cheap, or do you think it's expensive? I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not three hundred. If it's in the same tier as the the Utopia, I feel like the Utopia probably it, it could be. It could be money. Wait, Battle of Le Battles of Legend Armageddon. Were there other starlights in that set? There was. There was a big one. The Ten Thousand Dragon. Oh. F so that must have been a pretty pulled set. Are there any others other than 10,000 Dragon in this? No, it's just these two. This is the other one. It's 10,000 Dragon and then the Astral then uh, Utopia. Then it has to be money. Like, even if it's overshadowed by another card that's like, like, this isn't 10,000 Dragon, like 3K or something like that. Like, it's uh, raw, it's like, I think it's 1,400, but yeah, it's okay. insane. It's, not, it's still like I, I can't remember Still the last insane time. and ridiculous. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen like a card to have been released in recent years hit four digits. Like it's been forever. Yeah, it, it was it was nuts. Yeah, it's already rivaling like Apollosa and, and IP, and those came out like a year before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then this is probably money. I am going to put the Astral Utopia at three hundred. And fifty dollars, and I'm three fifty. I'm going to lock it in at a solid. Let me rethink that one second. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. Oh my god, this is. You've been good at walking around after after you say your initial price. So I we'll feel, see if you I can feel do like, it again. I feel like it's lower. I feel like it's closer to three than three fifty. And I said three for light and darkness dragon. Who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy. Yeah, maybe you just double three hundred it. See what happens. Maybe, maybe I'm just <laughs> insane. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it with with Utopia three hundred dollars. Okay, all right. Three hundred bucks. Run it. I believe in it. Okay. All right. Let's do the reveals. Preach. I'm going to start with the light and darkness dragon just for fun. Okay. Show me the light and so, darkness dragon. What's the sauce? You just threw out $300. This will give you at least an idea of where you are with the Astro Utopia. Okay. The light and darkness dragon is... Three hundred and forty-six dollars. Okay, okay, okay. We're so the good you ballpark. are in the right tier okay. for the Utopia. Okay, we'll go to the Forbidden Chalice next because you were confident about this. We're one. in the ballpark. I feel pretty confident about the Chalice at two forty. Okay, you said two forty. You said two twenty-five to two fifty. Yeah. This card is two hundred and fifteen. So okay. you were very close. Yeah, not bad. At if all. you had said two twenty-five, you'd been like extremely close. But I mean, you're still only twenty-five off yeah, plus the tier those. bonus. Yeah, yeah, we take, we definitely take those. Mm -hmm. Very strong. And you know, for the final one, you are in the right tier. Yeah. You went from three fifty to three hundred. Let's see if you went in the right direction. You initially were you weren't sure, but then we heard ten k. You're like, yeah, this has got to be money. It has to be. It had to be. Yeah. And you were right because it's in tier three. The number thirty-nine Utopia, Astral Rarity from Battles of Legend Armageddon is two hundred and sixty dollars let's go okay okay so you okay. walked it fifty dollars in the right direction we take so, those yeah let's go okay I'm down. honestly I'm down. you didn't miss any by a lot so i'm really interested to see how you did because your worst one was the summon skull and that one's thrown out i don't think you missed any by a hundred no i think the, the closest one was the brio that i missed by i think 50 or 60 bucks yeah, 62. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I think you did pretty good. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math, figure out where you're standing in all the standings. So far, we've had nine episodes. So will you be in the top half? I feel like you will. Let's see. A few moments later. All right, we have the results of how Coder did. I want to remind you guys, if you're watching this video, you can win money because of Coder. Money! If we are within... 1%, we went $1,000. If we're within 5%, $500. Within 10%, $250. 25%, and if you're Farfa, it's 5%. And then you, or fifty percent, and you get uh, fifty dollars. So yeah, <laughs> okay. hopefully not that bad. We know for sure we didn't do that. So I'm, aim okay. I'm aiming for ten percent, so that they can win as much as they can. I, I don't know if I'm there. I don't know if I'm there. Maybe I'm close. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Everyone, if you want to win the giveaway, make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below how Coder did, and make sure to go check him out on his channel as well. So far, this is what he did. Our total value for the ten cards that I asked him was $2,278. He was off by $266. He also got eight tiers correctly. So we took out $80. That means that he was $186 off. That's 10%. Off. That's 10%. That comes to 8.17% off. Go! Second best 
ever on the show <laughs> behind bad. Gage. Let's How you feel go. about that? Dude, that's crazy. That's insane. That was good. 8% <laughs> is super solid. You are actually the first person to get it between 5 and 10%. That is absolutely, yeah. Gage, Gage was like, Gage like cooked it. He was absolutely insane. Yeah. I was just trying to come close, bro. I think I did a good job. That's pretty crazy. You did. You split the difference between him and Joseph, basically. He Joseph was like 11 almost, and he was four point something, and you got basically 8%. So okay. you split the difference. You gave us uh, someone in there. Our 10th episode paying off pretty well. That was a, an impressive performance, Coder. All right. Let's pay the people out, dude. Pay the believers. Pay yeah, them out. All right. Make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to win $250. The first time it's ever been given away. We had a $500 giveaway, but everyone else has been 100 or 50 So this is a big performance from Coder. Coder, you got anything else you want to say before we go? Uh, nah, dude. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks again, Coder, for showing up to this and doing this. I was a little late, and it was worth it for him because he dominated. Also, check out his Twitch stream and his YouTube channel. I'll have those linked down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a good one. Okay, okay, okay. So I do have the swap out. Dude, okay, I, I watched the episode with MBT, and you gave him, like, the Mattel action figure card and something else. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, like, you gave him, like, Collector's Rare Gamma or something, and then a Mattel action figure card. And he goes, I'm going to swap out the Gamma. And I'm like... <laughs> I know! Whoa. I was like, what? I was like, who in their right mind does not swap out the Mattel <laughs> action figure card? Because he knew it! He basically <laughs> knew the answer. I was like, oh my gosh, how like, did he know this? That's insane. That's yeah, crazy. that was nuts that he knew that. <laughs> I, I, There's no way I would have gotten that. That was, that was nuts.